Fight Hub TV here with Sugar Hill. Sugar, first of all, welcome back to the UK. I'm not sure how long you've been here. I'm Let not me welcome you to Morecambe. Let's just do it that all way. Right, so you're welcoming your home. That's this is right. your welcome second house, right? That's right. How long have you been back for? I don't really remember those. Are, listen, you see how I'm like, ah. I, I naturally don't remember dates and stuff, how long I've been somewhere. Uh, I'm always on the go. It doesn't Let seem too important. I, I enjoy what I do. Uh, I guess it's like being out in the park out in the park on the playground every day. Let's talk about this fight, the big fight on May 18th. I do want to talk about a few narratives that are getting played ahead of this fight. First of all, a lot of people are saying, listen, that cut that Tyson's got, maybe weak skin, Usyk's yep. strategy it's would be. It is, it's weak skin and uh, Tyson's very vulnerable. <laughs> All right, so that's. I'm not, here, I'm not so here that, to change anybody's mind, whatever they feel, because whatever I say is not going to change their mind anyway. But uh, it's good to have those thoughts and stuff out there because it makes it more exciting. Has the game plan changed or slightly? Have you had to accommodate for for that cut or anything? No, nothing's changed. Why change anything? Because he's got a cut. Listen, the game plan in any fight is what? What's a boxer's job supposed to be really? The art of boxing is what? Not get hit. To hit and not get hit. So yeah, what, what are we gonna do? Say, oh, Tyson, don't get hit any less than what you do. I've already, I thought that they already said that Tyson was the, what they call it, the least, the least getting hit heavyweight in history or something like that. The most elusive heavyweight in history, is that what they said? Yeah, so I mean, what are you gonna do now? Don't fight? All right, let me talk about another one then, Alexander Usyk's body. It was alluded to it in the press conference that Frank said he's got a weak body. You know, we've seen instances of that in the past. Is that something that you guys have sort of taken forward? And I heard uh, he was on the body bag today with yourself. So how was that? I'm, I'm, listen, for me, you hit whatever's open. If the body's open, go for it. If the head's open, you go for it. If uh, the left side's open, you go for it. If the right side's open, you go for it. I mean, uh, for the make the, and, every, and I understand everybody's uh, point of view about the body hole. Oh, he's got hit to the body twice and he's weak, but you know, I, I'm not banking everything on going to the body like I guess what you're asking me. Is that, the, is that the game plan? No, it's not. There's other things to be hit on the man than just his body that can do damage. So yeah, you've seen Tyson Fury his fights do damage to the head and to the body. So why do you focus on one thing? They asked you for a prediction on the press conference and you said knockout. It was just very straight. You never gave anything more than that, but what, what sort of fight are you looking to get into? If, what sort of scenarios are you looking to get into in this fight? I'm looking for every scenario. You got the best heavyweight and uh, you got the best heavyweight in the opponent, Alexander Usyk. Mm. We want the best, and we got the best now. I expect everything. Uh, just a few others before I do let you go. Obviously, being an American channel, I need to ask you about a few American fights. Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. Good fight to watch. I'm ready to watch that fight. Talk to I me about that one. Be, uh, I think it'll be. I think it'll be an exciting fight uh, for both fighters and for boxing. And uh, I'm very excited that fight's happening. Uh, you know, the fights that people want to see and uh, that they're getting made. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy and I'm excited to watch that fight. I don't have a prediction if you might want to ask me that. I just want a good fight and possibly a knockout. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, another one I need to ask you about is Canelo versus Jami Mangia. What do you make of that fight? A lot of mixed reaction in regards to Canelo fight Mangia when a lot of people are thinking, listen, you know, we want to see that Benavides fight. As fight fans, I think a lot of people want to see that fight. But what do you make of Canelo and uh, Jaime Mangia? Uh, I think it'll be a, a good fight with the style. And uh, Canelo has a, a, a good team behind him, and they're going to pick the best fights possible for him. And that's what his uh, team is supposed to do. I think Tyson touched on it earlier today when he mentioned the promoter's job is to do what the promoter's job is supposed to do, what's best for the fighter. So whatever they're doing for Canelo, it's obviously supposed to be for the best for Canelo. It's not supposed to be the best for the opponent or for the best for the people. Actually, final. It's like a child. You're going to do the best for your child, not some other kids or random children. Uh, yeah, it's just that simple, I guess, if that makes things a little bit more clear. It does. And the final one for myself. Um, I can't argue with what they're doing. That's, they, that's, that's their man, and they, uh, they have to do the best job for their fighter. 100%. Uh, last one before I do let you go. John Fury did it for you a couple of months ago and he said, listen, Anthony Joshua, uh, there's not much you can change with him physically. He's a great fighter physically, but it's the mental side that you need to change with him. He seems to be in a very mental, uh, happy mental space right now with his team, with Ben Davison and the rest of the team around him. Um, does that make him a, a lot more dangerous than a he was? A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. You knew I was going to say that, didn't you? I know. I was waiting for that cliche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it, it's definitely true. I mean, you can't, you can't take anything away from that. A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. Uh, sometimes a, a sad fighter is dangerous too.
Does that fight then with your man become that little bit close? Because a lot of people, but 12 I don't months know ago, about that. I just had to stop you. I don't know. I don't care about it. Uh, that thing has been talked about for so many years. Why are we talking about it now? Whatever happens is put before it. I suppose put before us and what happens. Cool. Sugar, always a pleasure to talk to you yourself, sir. Thank you very much for introducing me to your home in Morecambe. That's right. Uh, the that little building right there. That's where all the magic happens at over there. What, what is that That's the boom boom room. Okay, the boom boom room, yeah? Yep. Salman Sugar Hill, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. Salman. Right. Thank you.